A jet ski leaves the shore and has an initial displacement of 650 meters, 45 degrees north of west. I'll let vector A, siya yung 650 meters, 45 degrees north of west, or west to north. So from here, drawing ka 45 degrees, ito yung vector A natin. So west to north, so from west, papuntang north, 45 degrees. Ang method na gagamitin ko dito ay yung head to tail. Gawa tayo ng maliit na coordinate axis dito or yung XY axis. Then again travels 400 meters, 10 degrees north of east. So east to north, 10 degrees. Ang nandito siya. So not to scale yung gagawin kong drawing. Ito yung vector B natin. Siya ay 400 meters, then 10 degrees dito. After stopping for a while, it traveled 550 meters, 130 degrees. Ito yung vector C natin, 550 meters, 130 degrees. So wala siyang direction, pero ang ibig sabihin lang nito ay standard position siya. From positive x-axis or from east, nag-rotate siya counterclockwise ng 130 degrees. Mag-drawing ka ulit ng coordinate axis dito or yung xy axis. 130 degrees from positive x axis. So dito yung positive x axis or yung 0 degree. Mag-rotate ka counterclockwise ng 130 degrees. Siya na yun, 550 to. Ito yung vector C. Finally, it covered 350 meters, 168 degrees to reach a small island. So let vector D, siya yung last na displacement or yung vector natin, 350 meters, 168 degrees. So in standard position pa rin siya, drawing tayo ng xy axis, 168 degrees, so nagrotate siya counterclockwise, 168 degrees. So ito na yun, vector D. Ang tanong, find the resultant displacement of the jet ski using component method. Ang other solution nito, pwede mo siyang isa-isahin ng coordinate axis. So vector A, ganto. 45 degrees to. So sa vector B, pwede mo siyang i-isolate din pag ganun yung vector B natin. So sa vector C naman, pag ganun, pwede yon isolate mo lahat, 130 degrees. Then sa vector D, 168 degrees to. So, kukunin na natin yung X and Y components niya. Unahin ko muna yung X components, Y components. Ang technique na gagamitin ko dito is angle na in standard position. Kasi may angles tayo na in, in standard position. to 130 degrees and 168 degrees. Sa standard position kasi, kahit hindi ka na mag-isip ng negative and positive sign, kusa niyang ibibigay yung negative sign kung naka-standard position yung angle mo. If hindi naka-standard position yung angle mo, dun, dun ka mag-iisip ng mga values na negative or positive depende sa coordinate axis na nandun siya. So for example, kung nasa quadrant 3 siya, ibig sabihin ng x and y components mo ay negative. Ganun lang siya. So kapag standard position, hindi mo na siya iisipin. Simula natin doon sa vector A, x component niya, sabihin natin na A sub x or AX. Ito ay 650 cosine. So kapag x component, cosine yung gagamitin natin. So sabi ko kanina, standard position, itong angle na yung kukunin natin. Standard position siya. Ito ay 135 degrees. Kasi, 180 minus 45, so 135 degrees to. Kung ayaw mong naka-standard position to, pwede siyang AX is equal to negative 650 cosine 45. Kasi nasa quadrant 2 ka, negative yung X components mo or yung X values. So the same lang din sila ng result na ilalabas. So Y component naman, 650 sine 135 degrees. Or pwede rin 650 sine 45 degrees. So quadrant 2, positive yung Y values mo or yung Y components. Sa so vector B naman tayo, so BX is equal to 400 cosine. So standard position, so from 0 degree, 10 degrees lang. Ganon din dito sa BY, 400 sine 10. So vector C, CX niya ay 550 cosine 130 degrees. Naka-standard position na siya from 0. So CY is equal to 400 sine 130. Then finally, yung DX and DY natin, 350 cosine 168 degrees. Then 350 sine 168 degrees. Tapos, pagplasin natin sila lahat, summation ng X components, dito rin, summation ng Y components, equal lang to. Ito, exact gagawin natin kasi kapag ginawa nating value to, nagra-round off kasi tayo. So, gagamitin natin yung calculator na Casio. So, yung bibigay niyang sagot ay negative 761.58 meters. Sa so, Y components naman, sa summation nito lahat, bibigay niya ay positive 1023.17 meters. 
kunin natin ay yung resultant displacement so from starting point up to final point yun na yun drawing ka dyan ito yung kunin natin yung vector r or yung resultant from zero or origin or sa initial point papunta dun sa final point dito isolate natin to ito yung vector r natin ang summation of y components natin ito yun So, yung summation of y or parallel nya, the same lang din yun. Summation of x natin, ito naman yun. Parallel nya, the same lang din yun. Mapapansin mo dito sa triangle na to, siya ay right triangle by Pythagorean theorem. So, vector r or yung resultant displacement squared is equal to summation of x squared plus summation of y squared. Then, square root, square root to, yun na yun. Resultant displacement natin ay square root of negative 761.58 squared plus 1023.17 squared. By calculator, ang resultant displacement natin ay 1275.49 meters. Ito yung sagot natin. Di tinatanong yung direction niya pero kunin lang din natin. Ang direction na kukunin natin ay ito, theta. Direction na to ay north of west or west to north. Masasolve natin siya sa trigonometric identity na tangent theta is equal to summation of y over summation of x. Theta is equal to arc tangent summation of y over summation of x. Arc tangent 1023.17 over negative 761.58. Theta natin ay negative 53.34 degrees or 53.34 degrees north of west. So, from west papuntang north. 